I told him I could do that. All right, well, then how disappointed are you that you guys won? <laughs> um, you know, I never thought of it that way. I guess I can live with it, though. Got it. Yeah. You cool, guys cool, are a lot cool. sharper than I remember. <laughs> uh, so, Coach, uh, is it a little weird to be, like, kind of sitting on it knowing that it's all over when it's, it's not over yet? I kind of watch. I watch everybody that's good, watch them swim, how they, how aggressive they are in their races how they're able to finish their races and what we're doing and how we're doing the same things. And you, you can kind of get a trend of what's going to happen down the line. So, and we don't ever come here to win. I mean, I've got three seniors that set four American records. So those are seniors that got better. That's the name of the game. All I, every year we start out with what can you do to help me make you better? Because look at their faces when they go fast. Winning's good, but fast is where it is. Eddie, how proud are you of these guys for leaving it all in the pool? I mean, you've had John Shevick could barely get out of the pool. Clark Smith could barely get out of the pool. You can tell that they're putting everything into it to get these victories. It must mean a lot to you that they're putting the team on their back. And Fine We've had more hard. injuries this year and more at this <laughs> meet than we've had in the last four years total. So Clark, he pulled his groin in the 500, scratched him in the 200. I didn't want him to swim that, but I had no idea he would do that. Said it started hurting real bad at the 800, and then he just... It bothered him for a couple of hundred, and he went on. So, swimmers are used to pain. They're really good at it. So, Willa Cohn was the only three-time champion for Texas. What does that say about him and his progression? Will is everybody's long-lost brother. He is just the crowd favorite. Everybody on the deck likes him best. All the coaches tell me what a nice guy he is. And the good part is he is. He is just a great kid. Comes in, he works hard at everything. Just go faster is the name of the game. How about the stat that he's the fourth guy to ever win four different individual NCAA events? Who is that? Will's the fourth guy to ever win four different events at an NCAA championships. What does that say about I guess what he's done in the last couple of years, the fact that he's become All that means over. is his coach didn't know where the heck to put him. <laughs> what went into that decision to, to change his events? Because I know it was something that you were a little reluctant to do last year. Yeah, I didn't want to do it last year. I didn't want to do it this year, but we kept talking about it. And he went fast enough in the 100 breath state conference to, in a time trial almost, yeah. to, we took a chance. Because we know he's not, the fastest guy in the world. If you had to race 25s, there'd be three or four guys that could beat him. But he doesn't slow down. Congratulations on the win. Uh, not the strongest need for Joseph Schooling. Give me your thoughts on that. Joseph got sick probably right after the prelims of the 100 fly. And we decided to go on, and then he decided after, I just don't, I shouldn't talk about illnesses, but after being sick that night, he decided he'd give the 200 fly a try. We're going to put him on the relay tonight. Figure 100 free. High hopes for him for next year. Pardon me? High hopes for him for next year. Um... He will be way better next year. He has already talked to me about that. How about him? It took, he said it took a while for him to get refocused after the Olympics, to get back and to be fully committed to training. How hard a process was that to, con to t convince him it was time? Well, you got to realize he had all his lifetime goals answered in one race. He wanted to win a medal in the Olympics, that was a goal. He wanted to beat Michael Phelps, 
He won to win Olympic gold medal. All happened in the same race. He should have been through. So, I didn't talk him into coming back. He's real set on getting an education, and he's not sure if he was a pro, he would do that. He's talking discipline-wise. But he's a worker. He does amazing stuff. How about Jack, uh, seeing him finally win Pitbull 1 tonight, and how much that meant? Well, being 110 at the 150 for on the way to 200 fly, that's, we couldn't believe it. And we know him. What we do in early January, we do 20, 50 butterflies on 35. Everybody does them, even the sprinters. They usually make four to six. Jack went 10, 50s fly on 30. And Joseph went 50 fly kick on 35, 50 fly swim on 35 for 20. So they were in shape. They can do that kind of stuff. Anything else, Brad? The, the, the fact that this is, you know, the what? this is the 13th, your third in a row. What, it, how does this one feel different? It's always different. You got different people. It took different items and workouts in the water and in the weight room to get Jack and Will and Clark to go like they went. And so it's never the same. People may be the same, but if you, I gave Clark Smith the same things he did this year for next year, he would probably be slower. Because he is now better. He is a different, more efficient organism. I've got to find something that can break him down. So it's a, it's a never-ending thing. Well, Coach, it's been fun to watch these past three years. It's been fun for me. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.